it going, everybody out there? Hope you're all having a great time, having fun, playing all these cool battlefield setups. I got a Vietnam one this week. This week I only got one done, but uh, it is Vietnam. I felt like I needed to do some of those. I had some people wanting to see some Vietnam stuff, so I set up a pretty decent size Vietnam battlefield. I mean, you got your NVA over here, and uh, you got control points all along this long, long highways, or the jungle if you prefer to just cut across country. Your base will be up here, like your entry point. Uh, I'll go ahead and swing up there in a minute. There's a, a fairly decent amount of defenses here. There's some anti-aircraft, anti-tank uh, stuff around here. I didn't put too much down because I didn't feel like it'd be fair for them to have like a super highly fortified base and you not. <laughs> But anyway, there's some stuff here, so it'll be a little bit difficult. I mean, there's some little surprises hid uh, around here and there and stuff too, like spider holes, and they'll be hiding out here somewhere in these little holes to get you. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to jump over here where the Americans are in just a second. I'm going to show you what the NVA is going to be using. They'll have uh, an old... Uh, crappy bomber <laughs> that they can uh, spawn if they want to they got the uh, pt-76b i think that one's amphibious i ain't sure though it might not be they got the old world war ii uh, t-34s uh, they got two different groups of troops that they can spawn i give them two different groups to make it more likely for them to spawn a little bit more infantry instead of just spawning tons of vehicles they also have this one, which is an anti-aircraft tank, but it can also be used against vehicles. Uh, this one's anti-aircraft, but it can be used against infantry. Uh, and they got a little souped-up heavy machine gun, APC. So, I mean, they got some fairly decent stuff. Uh, the Americans going to have the Patton tank. And you're going to have the flamethrower m132 which is pretty wild i don't think i there's no way i would have ever drove that thing or been anywhere near it <laughs> in vietnam but then you got the minigun uh m113 which is pretty cool it can haul quite a few troops inside also got some budweiser in there <laughs> And a Chinook that you can spawn with machine guns all around if you want to uh, just cause some havoc with the enemy. Now swing over here to where you'll be starting at in your squad. Uh, this is what you'll have to play with whenever you start. These are your vehicles that will respawn. You got the Patton, the Flamer, the Minigun, and the uh, APC with some machine guns on it. There is a uh, Chinook right here that you can also uh, jump in and use if you want to. And this is you right here and your squad. Uh, these boxes right here are scattered around like I always do with some guns and ammunition and health and stuff in them. These uh, lines right here are the spawn vehicles, like vehicles that will like spawn that you can jump in. If you get stranded, I didn't put too many down because this ain't like a, this ain't no massive, huge battlefield. This is more of a small battlefield. But that's pretty much it for this one this week. Uh, next week, I'll try my best to get two out. Be sure to swing by my YouTube and uh, leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying these battlefields to show support. If you want me to keep making them. And thank you for watching.